Now let's dive into brush calligraphy with a detailed discussion about the writing instrument that is the brush pen. So brush pen is basically a writing instrument with a soft and flexible tip which helps in making the pressure variations in calligraphy. So these are some of the uh, few different brands that I have. So these are the brush pens and uh, so brush pen is basically uh, like if you can see that it has a soft and flexible tip. So in brush calligraphy or basically in any other form of calligraphy we need some pressure variations for the strokes. We are going to discuss all this in the later sessions. In this session we are only discussing about the uh, brush pen. So as you can see the brush tip looks like a, a paint brush and it is a very soft and flexible tip. So if I apply a little pressure on it, if I don't apply any pressure on it, it will be a thin stroke. And if I apply too much pressure like the most pressure that I, I can apply then it becomes a thick stroke. So due to this uh, quality uh, we are using brush pens in calligraphy and uh, every other brush pen has its own pros and cons and in this session we are going to discuss everything about brush pens, the different brands, the different types and how to hold a brush pen, the different angle for the perfect calligraphy. Now uh, talking about the types of brush pens, there are two basically two uh, widely used brush pens which are the large tip brush pens and small tip brush pens. The small tip brush pens are also known as feud brush pens because they have a smaller tip and a pretty hard tip as compared to the large tip brush pens. So I will keep the small tip brush pens aside for a while so that we can discuss the large tip brush pens in detail. So as you can see the large tip brush pens uh, have a large and flexible tip. So for example if I uh, pick up the Agile Little Artist brush pen so it has a large tip and which is flexible and uh, most of these or uh, all of these large tip brush pens have a soft and flexible tip. So I will show you all of these. So this one is the Doms. It also has a large and flexible tip. So the tip size and the uh, softness and the flexibility depends varies uh, from brand to brand. So large tip brush pen has a large and soft uh, tip flexible tip. So whenever you are purchasing brush pens for calligraphy look out for soft and flexible tip because uh, for example this Agile Little Artist brush pen uh, it has uh, it is a twin tip brush pen so we have a very so we have a, a large yet soft and flexible tip at one end which is meant for calligraphy. However, we also have a different kind of brush tip which you might get confused while purchasing brush pen. So this uh, tip basically is not flexible at all. So for example, if you see no matter how much pressure I apply, uh, you cannot make the thin and thick strokes and pressure variation won't work. So this basically is known as the hard tip brush pen and this uh, is used for uh, coloring or doodling etc and it is not used for brush calligraphy. So whenever you are purchasing brush pens make sure that the tip is flexible enough and the brush pen is meant for calligraphy and not for coloring. So for example uh, I have these Koi, uh, Sakura Koi coloring brush pen. So as you can see it is uh, flexible enough for calligraphy for example I will just show you. So I make a thin upstroke and I apply too much pressure on it and try to make a thick downstroke. Although this is flexible enough uh, because these brush pens can be used for different purposes. But sometimes just like the case in Agile brush pen you do have a hard tip but it's not flexible enough uh, that can be used for calligraphy. So the thin upstrokes that we want like these uh, you won't be able to make them uh, through these brush pens. Although they can be used but it is always suggested to use uh, soft and flexible tip brush pens uh, for calligraphy. However all of these other kind of brush pens are best for coloring and other purposes. These might not be uh, the best uh, solution for your brush pen calligraphy. So in this way you can purchase the perfect large tip brush pen for your calligraphy. Now let's discuss a few of the most widely used brands and discuss how they are different from each other. Now uh, talking about the most widely used brand which is this Agile Little Artist brush pen. So these pens come in a pack of uh, 250 rupees and there are 12 pens in a pack and these are the best for beginners. 
because first of all they are budget friendly and secondly they are twin tip brush pens so this soft tip uh, soft tip side is used for calligraphy as you can see it is soft and flexible enough and is best for calligraphy however the hard tip one is uh, can be used for other purposes like coloring or sketching etc uh and these are uh, not too much flexible neither they are like too uh, stiff to use for beginners so uh, sometimes what happens is that your uh, brush tip is too flexible and for beginners it sometimes uh, might be difficult for them to get a hands on uh, experience or to practice calligraphy hence i always suggest to get agile uh, brush pens as your first a pack of brush pens and it is not always necessary to try different brands but if uh, these pens uh, if you are practicing daily so agile brush pens can last long as to 6 months uh, very effectively and if you are planning to purchase some other pack you can purchase after 6 months uh, like camlin and doms etc so these is the brand which is suggested by me uh, for beginners so always go for this one now talking about the other brands which are is dom doms and camlin brush pens so these uh, doms brush pens the price range is also similar which is like 150 rupees to 250 rupees depending upon which pack you are purchasing because camlin brush pens come in a pack of 6 i guess 20 and even more and doms brush pens they also have a few different packs so uh, in my experience these two brands are very similar to each other because first of all the tip hair is very flexible as compared to agile brush pen so due to this uh, too much flexibility it sometimes is difficult for absolute beginners to practice uh but if you feel comfortable with camlin you can definitely go on with that however the doms is even much more flexible than uh camlin brush pens so if i talk uh, if i have to rate uh, these three uh, budget friendly these are the top three budget friendly brush pens for beginners or for even advanced uh, calligraphy learners so if i uh, rate them in terms of flexibility or in terms of uh, Uh, best for beginners so this agile brush pen is the best for beginners as these two are much more flexible uh, as compared to these one uh, once you get hands on experience with this uh, agile little artist brush pen you can definitely try on these two as well if you already have uh, any of these two brands there is no need to purchase the agile little artist brush pens you can definitely practice brush calligraphy using any of these brands so brush pens can also be used for coloring and sketching etc but in this course we are talking only about brush calligraphy so uh, yeah you can choose any of these uh, three brands now uh, let's look at some high priced uh, brands as well so there are many brands like uh, kerin markers which is also known as the ultimate uh, brush marker and we also have tombo and uh, we also have sakura koi coloring uh, brush pen so these are the large tip brush pens so there are many more brands but these are the most widely used so we are just discussing a few brands so kerin markers uh, and uh, tombo dual brush pens they are priced in the range of something around 180 to 200 rupees for one pen but uh, kerin mark and both of them have their own pros and cons for example kerin markers come with 2.4 ml of liquid ink so it makes it last longer like than forever because to be honest i have been using uh, these uh, brush pens since uh, i guess 2020 and these are still uh, good as new because of this liquid ink so you just have to use it as you want to like as you can see this is juicy and this is like as good as new so kerin markers are uh very good if you want to invest in some brush pens and these last long as well however the tombo dual brush pens uh these are also very similar in uh in terms of the price the 180 for one pen and the best part about is that it is dual brush pen so for example if one side is a brush pen and the other side is a fine liner so for example if you want to like sketch around or doodle around or make a shadow etc you can use these uh, this pen as well so again there are pros and cons of the brands and you can definitely uh, try on these pens as well although there are uh, a little above uh, the budget friendly you know slab of the price but if it's under your budget and if you want to try it definitely go on 
with it and talking about the nib uh, carine markers is much more flexible and controllable as compared to tombow uh, dual brush pen and in my experience i have seen that tombow uh, dual brush pens brush tip frays uh, after a few uses although i have been uh, using this particular uh, pen for more than 2 years but i have not used uh, tombow much in calligraphy because in my experience the nib frays off in uh, uh, in a pretty little time but kerin markers uh, this is actually the ultimate brush pen and uh, you have 2.4 ml of ink and you can just use it so for example if you are not using it regularly it won't hurt the quality of the pen so it is last longing and durable as well and talking about sakura koi coloring brush pen as i told you earlier uh, this is very the uh, brush tip here is very similar to tombow uh, dual brush pen it is not too flexible like uh, camlin and doms but also not uh, too hard like a hard tip brush pen or a coloring brush pen so this can be used as cali for calligraphy but uh, the thin up strokes that we make the hair lines which are known as uh, these are known as the hair lines so it actually affects the uh, you know quality of the thin up stroke because it is not as thin as like for example the art gel brush pen or any other brush pen for that matter so you can give it a try but uh, for calligraphy i won't suggest it as it is a uh, it, it is pricey as well it comes for something around 180 to 200 rupees for one pen and if you are investing uh, in such a pen for specifically for brush calligraphy then this might not be the best one so yes this uh, in this way you can actually choose the brand that works for you the only thing that you have to look for is uh, the flexible and soft tip and depending upon your budget if your budget is for art gel or camlin or doms you can definitely pick them and if you have a, if you want to invest more definitely go on for some high priced brands as well but only look for uh, that the brush pens are meant for brush calligraphy and not for coloring and always check that the tip is flexible and soft enough for calligraphy now these were the pens that work on white paper only but what if you want to uh, uh, do calligraphy on black paper or on some dark colored paper so for that you can have metallic brush pens so doms uh, also have uh, just two metallic uh, doms just recently launched their doms metallist brush pens as well so if you are looking for budget friendly metallic brush pens you can definitely go on for doms brush pens because these brush pens are really juicy and they definitely work uh, really good on black paper or on cardboard or other kind of surfaces like dark surfaces or dark colored sheets so you can go on for doms and if you uh, have uh, if you want to invest that much of money in a particular brush pen you can also check out the kerin markers uh, deco brush markers which are the metallic pens they are priced at around 250 for one pen so they are also really really good and again with that 2.4 ml of japanese ink it doesn't dry up quickly and it stays last longer so these were the uh, two there are also many other brands like prustro metallic brush pens and uh, i guess now uh, different brands are coming up daily with more uh, you know kinds of brush pens so you can also check out uh, them as well but always make sure that the tip is soft and flexible and is the brush pens are meant for brush calligraphy and not for coloring now let's also talk about uh, feud brush pens or small tip brush pens so in calligraphy uh, we usually use large tip brush pens but if you want to uh, do calligraphy on a smaller space or if you want uh, you know small letters small size letters like for example if you can see this one and this one there is a very much size difference in both of them so if you want to like write poems or paragraphs or something like that you can definitely go on with a few brush pens now if i talk about the most widely used feud brush pen is this tombow feud nosuki uh, brush pen so there are two types of again two types of tombow feud nosuki brush pen one is the hard tip and one is the soft tip so the only difference is that in the uh, tip flexibility so for example this one is your hard tip brush pen so as you can see that i have to apply much more pressure in this case however this small tip brush pen i have to apply like 
not too much pressure so this one is the hard tip and this one was the uh, soft tip brush pen so as you can see that the hair lines are really really thin the up strokes are really really thin and neat in when you are using a fluid brush pen and however the thick up stroke is very uh, you know not too thick as compared to the large tip brush pen so if i want to write uh, in calligraphy in smaller spaces so these brush pens would be the perfect for me although uh, the pressure variation and uh, the the pressure variation might differ depending upon brand to brand so for example if i have to apply like 80% of the pressure in camlin and dom's brush pens i might have to apply like 100% or even like all the pressure that i can apply for few brush pens so the basics in brush calligraphy remain the same uh, the tip size and the flexibility only differs now we also have pentel brush pen which is very similar to the tombo soft tip brush pen as you can see this was the tombo soft tip brush pen and it is very similar so the only thing is that that tombo does not sell uh, dif uh, different colors in the soft tip brand they have a pack of 10 pens in the hard tip brush pen but they don't have any colors in the soft tip brush pen so if you are looking for more colors and soft tip is your style uh, then you can definitely try the pentel brush pen as well however the price is kind of very similar like 100 to 110 rupees for one pen there is also one more brand which comes under the fluid brush pen which is the zig fluid bury but in my experience they uh, this actually neither is too small like uh, these brush pens but uh, nor too big as compared to the large tip brush pens so as you can see this is kind of a medium tip brush pen but it is also a really good uh, fluid brush pen that if you are not looking for too big letters or you are not looking for too small letters you are looking for something in between then zig fluid bury uh could be your choice so this was all about a little about all the brush pens there are much more brands available in the market and to be honest now it's that 2023 people are also there are different brands that are also launching their own brush pens so for example i recently uh, saw stick hi-fi uh, brush pens as well i personally haven't tried them but they seem like fine for budget friendly pack if you want to look out for that and there are also other brands such as uh, line plus brush works or you know ohuhu brush markers and there are tons of other uh, brush pens as well so it is never necessary that you have to try out all the brands you can definitely if you have chosen camlin or doms or adgel you can definitely just pick up and keep your calligraphy practice again and again but i have seen and experienced myself that when you are learning a particular art form you kind of want to explore the different brands or different supplies so i would always suggest you that in the beginning please do not uh, you know skip brands and you know try different brands just pick up one brand i would suggest you to pick up adgel brush pens if you don't have brush pens at your home if you already have brush pens at your home then they are perfectly fine but if you are looking for new brush pens uh, purchase this adgel little artist brush pen and it will very easily last long for more than 6 months if you even if you are practicing daily and the focus in the beginning should be on practicing the basic strokes and getting better at it and not at different brands so in the beginning just pick up one brand and uh, you know just train your mind and practice using that brand only and once you are uh, you you get a hands on experience with that particular brand you can either uh, try on another brand of the you know same large tip brush pen and you can also try on small tip brush pens so this was all about different types of brush pens now talking about the papers that you can use for calligraphy to be honest for brush calligraphy you can use your regular printer paper which is your 80 to 100 gsm uh, regular paper and uh, you can draw your own guidelines we are going to discuss about these guidelines as well in the next session uh, in this course we are going to practice on these large tip brush pens i have attached the a uh, pdf file uh, at the end of the course so you can download and print it at your home or in your nearby local uh, you know printing shop and you can just print it on your regular printer paper and that would be perfect for uh, your brush calligraphy i would suggest you to print on uh, at least 90 to 100 gsm of paper so that there is no bleeding 
but uh, you can also go on for the regular printer paper which is 70 to 80 gsm because anyhow you are practicing and i won't suggest you to invest so much on printing and on papers and supplies in the beginning uh, of the course so you can uh, do that as well and these are the large tip brush pen guidelines and these are the small tip brush pen guidelines so both of these files are attached the pdfs are attached in the course so you can just download and print it as well if you don't want to uh, you can also use these kind of square grid papers if you already have these kind of papers at home you might not need these kind of uh, you know papers although it is always suggested uh, to use guide sheets already printed guide sheets so that in the beginning it's easier for you to focus on your basics your strokes and letters instead of the guideline so you can also use these kind of square grid guidelines because these are the perfect sheets for maintaining the spacing and the line height and width everything so for example if you uh, you know like uh, especially for beginners uh, this is uh, these kind of papers are really good because you can just you know measure like two boxes for the width of the letter or four boxes for the height of the letter and then you can just practice so you can also get these papers uh, you can also uh, for further like if you are making artworks or if you are making some quotes etc you can definitely use ivory sheets i'll attach a picture of the uh, product that i'm talking about so you can use ivory sheets because they are something around 150 gsm and they are really really smooth paper so you can definitely uh, get that and uh, we are also going to discuss watercolor background by the end of this course and for that we are going to use watercolor background paper uh, at least 25 percent cotton and uh, 200 gsm watercolor paper is needed for using watercolors and for using water with them you cannot use uh, watercolors or you cannot make watercolor background on your regular paper because they are not absorbent and it will definitely ruin all your artwork so when we are uh, at the end of the session we are also going to make some uh, we are also going to make some watercolor background so we are going to discuss about the paper in that particular session so feel free to download and uh, print the uh, guide sheets for the practice or you can also draw your own guide sheets like we are going to discuss in the next session and uh, okay let's now move on to the guide sheets